The Saints came marching in and put a scare into Louisville before the top seed in the NCAA tournament prevailed 79-72. Ninth seeded Siena overcame a 12-point deficit in the second half and led by four with 7.20 to go. But the Cardinals rallied, led by Terrence Williams, who had 24 points and 15 rebounds. Louisville will play 12th seeded Arizona in the Midwest Regional Friday. East Region top seed Pittsburgh moved on to the round of 16 for the fifth time in eight years with an 84-76 win over Oklahoma State. Sam Young scored 32 points, one short of his career high. I, I, I kind of tried to piggyback off uh, my last game too at the same time. I was in the zone and uh, I shot it well from three last game and I wanted to come out and try to uh, piggyback off of that and uh, after I started hitting a couple of shots, everything just started opening up for me, so it just all came together. Six foot seven, 265 pound Panther center Dewan Blair added 10 points and 12 rebounds, some of them with defenders hanging all over him. Pitt will play Xavier Thursday. Nick Wise scored 21 points as Arizona beat Cleveland State 71-57. The win puts the Wildcats in the round of 16 for the 12th time since 1988. 12th seeded Arizona will be the lowest seeded team still playing. Once you start playing the games, you know, seeding, I think you can throw it out a lot of times um, because it, it really comes down to one game seasons, who's playing well on that particular night. And uh, for the two nights that we've played here, um, you know, we've played pretty well. Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year, Travis Walton turned offensive minded Sunday. He scored a career-high 18 points, leading second-seed Michigan State to a 74-69 win over 10th-seed USC Sunday in the Midwest Regional. When some jump shots didn't fall, Walton said he took advice from teammate Colleen Lucas. When I missed a couple shots early, he came up to me and said, don't stop shooting the basketball, keep shooting. And um, I listened to him, and you know they, they fell through today. Michigan State moved on to the round of 16 for the eighth time in 12 years. The Spartans will play Kansas Friday. They'll have to contend with Jayhawk center Cole Aldrich, who had a triple-double with 13 points, 20 rebounds, and 10 block shots to lead defending champion Kansas past 11th seeded Dayton 60-43. The 6'11 Aldrich fell one short of tying the NCAA tournament record for blocks set by Shaquille O'Neal 17 years ago. I just try to, you know, help out these guys, you know, if they, if they get beat off the dribble or, you know, if my guy catches it in a post, you know, I, I just try to block their shot. I mean, I, I've been trying to do that all year, and that's just part of my game. Freshman Kim English came off the bench to make two free throws with 5.5 seconds left as Missouri beat Marquette 83-79. JT Tiller fell hard after being fouled with the score tied at 79, so coach Mike Anderson turned to English, taking advantage of the college rule that allows teams to substitute for an injured free throw shooter. Well, it was obvious he was hurt. I mean, the guy laid there for a while, and then he was, he was holding his hand the whole time. And so you got to make a decision whether you're going to leave him out there to shoot the free throws or, you know, he's injured. And he was. I asked him personally, are you hurt? He said, yeah, coach, I'm hurt. Third-seeded Syracuse held off sixth-seeded Arizona State 78-67 in a South Regional game Sunday. Eric Devendorf scored 21 points. Andy Routens added 17 for the victorious Orange. Syracuse moves on to play potential player of the year Blake Griffin and second seed at Oklahoma Friday. We're going to play the team that would have been the number one seed in this tournament if it wasn't for Griffin getting injured. If he hadn't got injured, they'd be the number one seed. So that's enough to worry about. Xavier pulled away from Wisconsin with a 13-4 run and went on to beat the Badgers 60-49. The Badgers only shot 29% and missed 17 out of 23-point tries. Steve Carmazan, The Associated Press.